Now, this is a really good reference of Splunk commands and how to do really basic searches. And I would say this is definitely what you want to do. Okay, so I'll go through just a couple of them. So he's saying, hey, I want to look for all the things that have the word audit in the index. So you're going to say index equals audit or just the word audit. Okay, you want to crawl root and home directories. Okay, so you want to crawl that directory and specify this is what I'm looking for. If you want to be able to add fields, you see how he's doing everything with that type? So you can say, all right, for each one of these, do a pipe add info. So, for me, that's the stuff that I really like. Here is a great reference. It's probably the best paper I've ever seen on using Splunk. So, they've got these cheat sheets, and I just thought they've done such a good job on trying to break this down into stuff that you would want to use, right? Then they give you a list of critical events to monitor, right? So you definitely want to look for new processes that are starting. Now here's the thing that gets a little confusing for people. A lot of people aren't used to Windows event codes by type and number. So a new process starting is going to be an event code 4688. So if you've got a brand new process that's spawned in, in the logs, it's going to be a 4688. If you have a successful logon, that's going to be a 4624. If someone accesses a share, that's going to be a 5140. If someone installs a brand new service, that's going to be a 7045. If someone makes a network connection, that's going to be a 5146. When a new file is added or deleted from the file system, that's a 4663. So these are the event codes that you would be looking for across your different hosts 